Hi everybody, this is Lance and I'm going to talk briefly about a Chrome extension called Colorzilla and it's this eyedropper thing right here and it is great if you are wanting to customize to a specific color in Google Drawings or Google Slides or Google Docs, any of those tools and you can specify a color all through using this tool. Okay, so here I have a newsletter that I've been working on and um, let's say something that I like to do is I like to change the color of things. Um, and this is a picture right here that I had imported and I'm going to go to image options here. And I'm going to pick a color. One of the things you can do is you can change the color of a picture by selecting the recolor button. And I'm going to go ahead and select. We'll just do this one right here. I like it. All right. That's a cool green color. And I want this part right here and this part right here to be the exact same color. Well, when I click on these items, that's fine and all, but the tricky part is when I try to choose a lime color to get it to match exactly is a little tricky because I don't think that would actually match. It's close, but it's not quite there. So if you want the exact color, here's what you do. And it doesn't just apply to Google products. You can use this on anything, uh, but this Chrome extension allows you to grab a color that's on your page. So I'm going to click on it. It'll say pick color from page and then I can click on the space and it finds the code and it copies it automatically. So now when I click on my line here, I can change the color of it like so. I go down here to custom. It's going to come up like this and it has a hex code. These hex codes are specific colors and all I have to do is paste it. So I'm just going to right click and hit paste and it puts in the code. And now that box right there matches that exactly. And I can do the same thing with this piece right here. You can do it with shapes, lines, uh, any borders. You can specify those colors. Now, once you do it once on a page, when I go down to custom, I don't have to do it again. It actually appears right there. And that's what this space is down here for. Any custom colors that you use appear down here at the bottom, just on this document though. Uh, so you'll have to, if you're gonna use these same colors in another document, you have to use the Colorzilla eyedropper again, but now that it's already there, I don't have to pick the color from a page. Now, if you lose that, if you lose that hex code, or you do want to transfer it over, when I click on it, I also have the color picker button right here that I can choose a specific color, but I also have a picked color history. When I click on that, I can see color history on this page and I can grab a hold of that color. And here's my hex code right here. And I'd be able to just copy that and go to wherever I want in order to get it onto another page. Okay. So that is Colorzilla. That is how you can customize specific colors using the hex code. Uh, and it works great, especially with the Google line of products.